Hello everybody, it's me, your favorite British boy. In 2019, I began working on a concept that I called the Minecraft Guide. The pinnacle of that concept, in my opinion, begun last year, with Season 3. This was a long world. I played in this world for over a year. This was also a big world. I did so many projects in this world that I loved. This was my favorite and longest world. I have a deep, fiery flame, a burning passion and love for this world. I, I like it a lot. There's so much nostalgia. It's a very special world to me. But today, we embark on a journey. And this journey, that's going to take us to many different places, and many different places quickly, too. This new world will eventually become my favorite world, and hopefully yours, too. This is the beginning of a new era. I'd like to welcome you all to Minecraft Survival, Episode 1. I'm super excited about the series. I think it's going to be pretty sweet, and I'm going to post it pretty often, too. If I'm going to post it pretty frequently, there's a decent chance that you can miss the series if you don't subscribe. So definitely make sure you're subscribed now, turn notifications on, you'll never miss an episode, and leave a like if you're excited for the series. Let's go. Welcome to Episode 1. Somewhat surprisingly, our series begins today, right here on the menu. It's very nice, but there's only one menu better than the main menu, and that's, of course, this menu right here. Minecraft Survival, predictably, maybe, is going to be a survival series on hard difficulty. With no cheats and game rules, we're going to leave all of these alone. I'm not changing any of them. Huge thank you to Vanilla Tweaks, because they've taken it upon themselves to cautiously and carefully remove every single Minecraft head so I can decorate my world with them and make it look really nice. And the world seed. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course we're using a world seed. This is the world seed right here. Oh, what's that? You can't see it? Ha, that's funny. <laughs> that's real funny. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And that's it. It all officially begins right here with this moment. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm obsessed with the game. Maybe it's something else. But like the feeling of creating a new world, this is unmatched. I, I've never found a better feeling in life at all. But ah, here we go. A brand new world. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. Life is good. My first new world in over a year. <laughs> Survival. This is different feeling. Like... What do I even do? Uh, I, I like walk around. That's great. But like, what do I do? Like, seriously, it's been so long since I've started survival. I've waited so long for this moment, prepared myself. And uh, now what do I do? I mean, I guess I'll just like get cold or something. That seems like a decent spot to start. I, I mean, I guess. And no coal. Okay. Yeah. So that joke, the setup for it wasted like 30 seconds of my time, precious time. So I, I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Trees. Fix the FOV trees. So, this tree right here. This unfortunate, unsuspecting tree. Acacia tree. Ah, acacia wood. You know, I know we have a, a little bit of a, a relationship between each other, but you're important this time. I care about you deeply, and yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I don't like this stuff at all. And guess what? As a viewer, there's nothing you can do about it. They remove the dislike. I don't like acacia wood, and that's that. So, wood, we have a bunch of this stuff now. Now, just in case you've had the video muted up until this point right here, this is episode one. In episode number one of Minecraft Survival, the goals are, are pretty simple. I'm thinking maybe a bed, maybe some food if we're lucky, maybe a little bit more wood than this, and maybe even a better type of wood, that would be great. And maybe we find a spot to live, I, I'm not too sure. It's Minecraft Survival episode one. Now, Minecraft Survival, uh, what, what is it? What's up with it? Well, I figured 1.18. It's kind of like the start of a new era. Like, everything is different about this game. The terrain is completely redone. The caves are new. Like, everything is new. I figured this would be, like, pretty much the perfect time to take it back to the basics and, yeah, really just start over. Um, so that's what it is. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'm a true poet. I Really, I, I know. The, the way of words that I have, it is a... It, it is a way of words, I, I guess you could say, but stone, here we go. Wooden pickaxe, you've held me so much, but I'm done with you. You're worthless to me. You belong in an item frame. We will never use that thing again. I'm so sorry about having to use that. I. Anyways, there's an axe right there. Here's a sword right here, and now we're good. We can go into the caves. We can go do everything in the world. We can do anything we want. Now, uh, right off the bat, uh, hi, I found this right here, so... No, illegal. We can't do that. I feel like bad. Like, I feel like it's so cheaty to just take the first piece of iron from up on the surface. I mean, coal? Coal is fine. It's literally coal. What do you do with this stuff? But iron? No, 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 no. The first piece of iron definitely has to come from a, from a cave. If it's up on the surface, it's not a true survival start. And, and I will judge you harshly and severely uh, for the rest of time. This feels actually really different for me too because this is like the first time i'm starting a survival world in like years like a like a normal survival world no no mods or anything normal survival uh, world first time in years and no guide like at all it's so different all right so at this point i feel like i've wasted precisely half of the day standing around not really doing too much so maybe we should start doing something i feel like the first big thing that i should do is either find a cave or find sheep i think i find sheep 
Aha. Mm, no. Uh, food. Food, food, food. So I have banned something in this world. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the future, but I, I banned something. I use it too much. It's not ethical. This is the new me. I'm in a new era, and I feel good, and I'm ethical now, and, and perfectly moral every single time perfectly moral every single time consistently sheep hi i i really hope there is a third adult because that's never i don't think that's gonna work right that's that's not gonna work it, you're not gonna drop wool are you yep okay well that was my bad maybe you'll you'll drop wool and you <sighs> we need one more piece of wool this would play out like this this one. All right, well, I guess two is not a bad start. There's the flower that we're gonna need. Of course, we need the flower, and there's another one, but you're you're right, you're right, you're right, you're perfect. Thank you so much. You're so important, and you know what? You're important too. All of the other ones, you can stay there. Congratulations. Congratulations, you've won the lottery. You get to walk around even more. So a bed, check. We can move that right off the list. This is perfect. That's a bed, but it's disgusting like that. I would never use that, but this? Mmm, mm-hmm, yes, this, the sacred bed. We will use that. That's good. There's only one thing better than that bed, though, and that's this wood type right here. Oak wood. Oak wood, I love you so much. I'm so happy about oak wood. We found oak wood. Now, right here at this world, which I do know a little bit about, by the way, uh, I don't think there's going to be uh, any taiga trees, which is really tragic. No spruce wood at all. But, I mean, that's okay. Um, because I've decided that I won't use any spruce wood in this entire world. Like, not a single block. I won't even craft any. So, that kind of works out. I figured out the solution to the food problem right here, which is going to be a campfire. Campfires are pretty much the best thing in the world to have early game. And look at how cheap it is right here. Free food, infinitely forever. This is perfect. This is literally the perfect start. I think this chicken could even agree with me. Oh, there's bees here too. Oh, that's awesome. The bees. So there's a little bit of copper right here too. I think I can mine this with stone. Yeah, for sure. I, d I don't know if I really need the copper right now though, to be honest, but... I mean, it's cool. Like, I'll take it. They added it to the game for a reason, after all. So, Copper, I guess you could stay with me. I mean, you're pretty cool, after all. We could come up with a build or something. Copper, me and you, me and you are good friends now. And food. Look, it cooked. So, for now, this is going to be my base camp. I know, I know. Hold the compliments. Like, really? I, I know, I know. It's really not much. But, yeah, yeah, that's going to be the base camp for now. So, next up, we need to find a cave. And conveniently, look at this. I think I found a cave. Uh, this is not a cave. I feel scammed. All right, well, back up to the surface for me and more food. I'm so sorry about that chicken. So Minecraft survival, it's a pretty simple concept and can be explained actually pretty much perfectly with this bee right here. You see that bee floating carelessly through the wind wherever its wings take it? Well, that's us in Minecraft survival. If our wings take us over there, then I guess we go over there. If we go over here, we go over here. The goals inside of this world, explore it. Check out the new terrain. That should be pretty simple. Check out the new mechanics, like the lighting. That's going to change, like, farms and everything like that. And, oh boy, speaking of farms, we're going to build bigger, better, faster, stronger farms than ever before. Sugarcane farm, uh, consider it already done. Uh, beetroot farm, yeah, consider it already done. Um, dirt farm, we'll figure out a way. A farm for everything. A farm for everything is eventually the plan. That's what we're going to do, and it's going to be really good. After that, we're going to be thriving, which is also part of the plan, and then eventually we will build on every single block inside of this world, like a torch, something. Uh, those are the goals, but I get it. Long list, so I'll sum it up for you. This series, it's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put the work in, put the hours in, we take what's ours. It's pretty simple. So anyways, this cave was a dead end. It did take me to more coal, though, which I feel like is a good idea to take right now. But really, to be honest, coal isn't what I'm looking for. And torches, uh, they've actually been completely changed. And I'm already forgetting that this is like spamming torches at this point. <laughs> I'll get it down eventually, though. Hey, iron. <gasps> How could I? Oh, this is awkward. This is like really awkward. The very first piece of iron in the world. And you're really alone. You're, you're really alone. Oh, uh, you're lucky I'm even bringing that piece of iron. If it's a single piece of iron, I practically don't want it. I mean, I'll take it. It validates all the iron on the surface, though. That's cool. Here we are, back up on the surface, night number one. Now, of course, of course I'm not going to skip the first night. That's like kind of like cheating, ruining the whole survival experience. To impress you all, I plan on playing through the entire first night without sleeping, even once. With no gear at all, too. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, so actually, nothing happened in the last night time. It was very uneventful. I ran around for a little while. Not a single mob even came up at me. It was actually like insanely, insanely easy. So that's good. Survive the first night. That's cool. Day number two. It's not the first day anymore, which means we need to get over that early game stuff, which means I think I need to branch out into the sea and find fish. Tropical fish. This is amazing. Is this warm ocean? No, it's lukewarm. Okay, that's close. But tropical fish, that's really nice. But anyways, it's time to start branching out. No more early game stuff. We go out into the ocean. We find food. I figured cod would be an okay source of food in the beginning. Same with salmon. Either of them, they're basically the same thing. 
fish, cod, and salmon. I can come over to the water and farm this stuff like insanely, insanely easily. No need to worry about like slaughtering cows or sheep or anything like that. I won't even hurt a single cow or sheep in this entire world. Yeah, we can just go to the ocean. The fish, uh, the fish don't mind. I'm pretty sure if I take this thing out too, I get tropical fish, which I, I think I can, I don't even remember. You see, I create a new world and everything goes out the window. Can I eat this thing? I can. Can I cook it? Also, is my mob head pack broken? <laughs> I'm not getting a single mob head from like any of this stuff. Like, not a cod one, not a tropical fish. Well, 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 I saw you staring at me from so long away. Wow. Oh, only one more. Tropical fish plus the campfire equals nothing. Raw cod can definitely be cooked though. Oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. That's awkward. I forgot to tell you about my new hat. Uh, look at my new hat. Uh huh. Thank you, Beast. Something about this combo right here, like we have the torch on top of the crafting table with the, with the campfire right next to it, and then like a red bed. Like this is the ultimate vibe right here of Minecraft early game. Like this sums it up like literally perfectly for me. I, and I love it. Like early game Minecraft, it's a grind for sure, but like I love it. It feels so nice to be in a fresh world with like literally nothing at all. <laughs> After being in a world with like giant temples and things like that. Like this feels really, really good. However, I think we should keep moving. So we have two pieces of iron right now. That's really good. If we could get one more, we can make a pickaxe and then we could find diamonds. Diamonds in episode one? Hmm, maybe. It is a possibility. If we can get lucky, hey, if we can get lucky, which this is looking good, then maybe we can find some diamonds. Episode one. Not bad. All right, so do I have enough stone? I do have enough stone for one furnace. That's perfect. Here's one furnace right there, and then inside of the furnace, seven raw iron. That's a pretty solid start. Almost perfect eight. We're going to waste the coal a little bit, so I'm a little sad, but it's fine. And while that happens, I will start preparing for the big build project. Today's build project is absolutely nothing. We've already done it. This is the build project. Next episode's build project, though. Oh, boy. I don't even want to talk about it because it's not this episode, but we're going to hit the ground. Um, <laughs> that was ironic. We're, we're gonna hit the ground. Literally running. Anyways, back over to the iron for me. Six iron ingots. That's solid. Six iron ingots? I mean, we're practically a speedrunner at this point. I feel like an iron pickaxe is probably a good call, and I don't know, like a bucket. That seems smart. One final ingot right there. Thank you so much. And... Now it's time for the cave. Chickens. Does anybody have a chicken head that I could have? Maybe. To see if this pack is actually working. Chicken head, please. Maybe you have a chicken head. Do you have a chicken head? No, no. Cooperate. Stop hiding in the bushes. Stop hiding in the bushes. Chicken head? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see for next episode. Do we keep this world or do we start from scratch with an entirely new world because the mob heads are glitched? Anyways, I found a cave right here. Hopefully this cave goes somewhere. Mmm, kind of looks like it might. Oh, oh, but you know, you know, this is very embarrassing, actually. I don't even know how I'm forgetting this, but water. Uh, there's got to be water around here somewhere, right? Uh, cow, leave me to water. Mmm, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You tried to, you tried to hide from me. No, 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 no. What is up with the iron being all alone, like, every single time in this world, though? Is that just gonna be a thing? And hey, look, water. I think we could go down here and mine, like, pretty efficiently, but not a chance I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm a ways away from that last cave, but that's fine. I found a new cave right here. There's a ton of coal right there, which is really great. And this torch, that is like my favorite torch in the world. The mob spawning change inside of this update, I think it's gonna be so amazing. Like that torch and that torch, and it's all safe. I could stand here and like literally do nothing, like go on my phone and just mine this coal. 100% safe. A great idea. Chicken, will you drop a head yet? No? Oh, you had a child, I'm sorry. Oh, that's really, really cool. Wow, that's sweet. Whoa, why are there so many holes in the ground? <laughs> is that just gonna be a thing because of this new generation like holes in the ground all over the place uh but anyways i have to keep it honest with you i think i lost their base the b the b i think it knows the way the b is saying the base is that way which is definitely wrong the b does not know the way okay i found it the campfire smoke dead giveaway the base is right here here we go this looks promising it goes straight down into the ground there's probably gonna be like basically no way back out of this thing is going down this a smart idea no no not at all absolutely not am i gonna do it anyways yes 100 percent, absolutely in the pursuit of diamonds in episode number one i will do it i will do anything even mine even more iron this is great wow i mean gosh not to brag or anything but at, at this point by the time the next episode rolls around not only full diamond but like full netherite or something too this is gonna be amazing is this deep slate down here already did we already make it down to deep slate caves uh no it wasn't but like this has got to be getting close right like 23 yeah 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 for sure we're like really close to deep slate already oh no i don't even have a shovel i i don't even have a shovel this is embarrassing but one thing that i have found out from messing around with 1.18 is if we can get down low and we can find like a big cave like a big wide open one we should be able to find like three diamonds at least pretty easily three diamonds diamond pickaxe and then get out i mean if it works out like that perfect if it doesn't work out like that 
That's fine. There's so much iron inside of this cave. I think we just found a gigantic cave system. Wait, hold on. This spider. I, I almost feel like the spider deserves to not have this happen to it. I mean, I mean, I couldn't stop myself, but like, but like that was the first bad mob of this entire world. That's a special mob for sure. Where is the deep slate? Okay, so these cave cracks in here are gonna get like really, really dangerous and lava down there. Okay, uh, well, that's why I have the water deep slate right there. Deep slate. We found it. We're in diamond range. Diamonds, that's all we care about. As soon as we can see Deep Slate, we're inside of Diamond Range. Diamond Generation, I think, starts at 16. So right here, Deep Slate, that's like Y0 almost. Yep, definitely could find diamonds. Now, the deeper we go, the more diamonds we find. But we're lucky, hopefully. We're insanely lucky. It's off the charts, actually. And we'll find diamonds, like, right here. Like, right under that block right there, it's gonna be diamonds. I can feel it now. And actually, I'm so blinded by profit that I'm completely passing up all of this iron. <laughs> diamonds are great, but like iron is probably way more useful right now. Okay, lava, that's very cool. That's like really, really nice of you and everything, but you can actually just go away now. That would be cool. And also, I mean, I was going to say, where are all the mobs? There's one, but like, also, where are all the mobs? Why is this so easy? I mean, it's hard difficulty for sure. And, and I hear a skeleton now, of course. I, I would hear a skeleton right now, but like, where are all the mobs? Like, this isn't too bad right now. I enjoy this, actually. So, here we are, deep down inside of the deepest cave in the world. There's a zombie right there. I hear a skeleton around the corner, and I ran completely out of torches. This is not good. Zombie. This is the first zombie of the entire world, and you're worthless to me. And another zombie. Maybe we have, like, a spawner over here or something. But I hear a skeleton. That's what we really have to watch out for. But diamonds. They've got to be somewhere down here. Like, anywhere inside of this gigantic cave is valid and fine for me. At this point, all I'm looking for is one single diamond. Like, literally just one. I'm only looking for one. And then I'll be happy. So much ore all over the place, though. Lighting these caves up is probably going to be insanely easy, too. If I can run through these caves when there's no mobs inside of them, like that right there, spam the torches, and then boom, we're good. Oh, well, then I mean, yeah, like I said, easy. Creeper, no, no. Any diamonds? I mean, I don't know why I asked that, to be fair. Of course there's not going to be diamonds. If there was diamonds, I would look insanely cheated. And, and just, I, I don't even know why I asked that. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. This could be, hmm. This could be a great idea. Or, a, never mind. Never mind. Okay. <gasps> it is what I think it is. <gasps> this is great. This is great. This is really, really solid. But this is also potentially insanely dangerous. But this is great. A mine shaft. You, you know what we're thinking. You know what I'm thinking. No, you have absolutely no clue what I'm thinking because I didn't say it. A mine shaft right here. We can find loot inside of this mine shaft. We can find a spawner inside of this mine shaft. We can find basically every single thing that we need inside of this mine shaft. It's also in diamond range. It doesn't look like there's going to be any diamonds down here. But a mine shaft, I mean, that's not a bad find. A mine shaft right here. That's sweet. And I found the strangest mineshaft generation too. I think that's because there's an aquifer like right in here. But like what? And also, I can see right through the water. <laughs> um, okay then. Okay, okay, they deal so much damage. I completely forgot about how much damage these things deal. And why are there like 50? It sounds like there's like 50 inside of the mineshaft. Fine, fine. You know what? That's fine. I don't need the mineshaft right now. We'll come back to it. But there's an aquifer right there. We could use that to find diamonds. And also, because it's just a random aquifer, I think it's going to be pretty safe. I'm not sure if anything could actually spawn inside of it. But it could also drown me. So maybe not. It would actually be kind of insane if I could get lucky enough to find diamonds on the very first episode without having to dig a single block too. Like, deep slot iron looks so cool to me. Like, I don't know what it is about this stuff. It's like literally normal iron, but I don't know. It just looks so cool to me. Actually, the amount of ores inside of this cave is, like, insane. Borderline, like, broken. Like, look at this. So much iron right there. There's gold right there, which is cool. Kind of useless, but cool. Uh, more iron right there. More iron right there. Even more iron right up there. I don't know if you can see it, but, yeah, there, there's iron, like, literally all over the place. <laughs> this is so easy. But I don't know. Maybe you thought it was an exaggeration. Well, please, allow me to show you this right here. This right there. That right there. This right there. And that right there. And that right there. I'm just going to go ahead and make a perfect looking staircase right here to go down here. Uh, don't mind me anything that might be inside of this cave. I'm really just looking around. I'm not, I'm not here to take anything. I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything cool that I'm looking for inside of this cave. That's a lot of tough. I wonder if that's a vein. M maybe not. Maybe that's just tough. Really, don't mind me. I, wrong blue rock. Re really, I'm, I'm just looking around inside of this small, tiny cave for anything potentially that, that might be a little bit interesting to me. I think I ran out of torches, though, so maybe that's a problem. Here's some redstone. That's great. I'll take it. More lapis. I almost forgot that. No, no, no. Okay, well, fine. I'll admit it. Overconfidence. I walked right into this cave thinking that I would be able to find diamonds, like, really, really easily. They'd just be, like, sitting out in the open everywhere. But no, that, that didn't exactly happen. Maybe maybe they changed this since the last time I did that. Uh, it didn't happen that way. It, it's fine, really. 
I won't give up though. At this point, I'm not only running out of torches, but I'm also running out of food. But you know what they say, uh, nothing great comes easy. I'm trying to be as strategic as I can and, you know, like, not run so I don't waste a bunch of hunger, but it's just not really exactly playing out like that. I keep taking damage, which is not helpful. Sooner or later, though, I guarantee it. Whether it's this episode, whether it's the next episode, sooner or later, I'll do it. I'll find them. They exist somewhere, that's for sure. They have to. I'm starting to wonder if I should be branch mining, though. Like, I didn't want to do that. That's kind of cheaty for, like, the first diamonds. It's the equivalent of finding iron on the surface, but, like... They're somewhere. I have so much junk. I, I can't pick everything up. <laughs> I've never had this problem before. Maybe I could just make a bundle. That might be able to help me. I'll just put everything inside of the bundle. That would be great. And that right there, chaps, is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Notifications, you'll never miss an episode. Another one coming very soon. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.